In the land called something or other, a poor merchant came home one evening to tell his daughters that he would be leaving the very next day in order to seek his fortune. Hello, Doctor. Daddy! I have come to tell you grave news. I will be leaving you for a few years. No! I must go no. and seek our fortune, for we are destitute. Indeed. Now, when I have found our fortune, what is it you would like me to bring you home, daughter? Well, I would like you to bring me a new dress. Look at this, it's so ragged. And shoes. Mine are in such tatters I can't even wear them anymore. And you, my darling, you might have whatever you want. All I want, Daddy, is a rose. I haven't smelt one in such a long time, you know my favorite. Very well, you shall have it. Now, I will go and get wood, and we shall have one last supper before I leave in the morning. Oh, yes. Thanks, Daddy. The ship upon which the merchant had invested failed in its venture, and the merchant had to return home with nothing. On his way home, he got lost in the woods and stumbled upon a glorious garden. At least, I can keep my promise to Lovely and bring her back a rose. The merchant returned home with a heavy heart and found his daughter Lovely sitting in the garden alone. Simon, you're back. I have returned with nothing but this rose for you, Lovely. And the price for bleeding it, I must give my most prized possessions to you, Lovely. The loathsome lava of the castle said I must give you for picking the rose. I will do everything in my power to keep you from him. No, father, don't do that. fortune awaits you at the gates, and you, miss, take my hand. You will find your stay here is not as terrible as you might think. Mrs. Timber, my housekeeper will show you to your room. Everything is so grand. Loathsome soon proved himself equal to his name. But over time, Loathsome grew less loathsome, and Lovely became fond of her time here at the Llama's Palace. Oh, Loathsome, I was wondering. I miss my family so much. Thank you so much. 
to you. It's your favorite. Can you guess? Chicken and dumpling! Yes, oh, I love that! You've become such a help since your sister Lovely's been gone. Thank you. Oh, the door! Oh. <gasps> Hello! Lovely! Lovely! Oh, my oh, I'm Mr. Gabby! How did you escape from that loathsome llama? He's not bad. He no, let me come for a visit. I can you stay for three days. days. You must stay longer than that, Lovely. I can't. Sure, you can't keep you that long. In the end, they convinced her to stay, and when the third evening came and she should have turned the ring three times to return to Lothsome's palace, she neglected this task and left him to linger away alone in his gardens. Left to himself, the beast's strength began to fail, and he wandered into the woods alone to linger away in sorrow. In his wanderings, Loathsome reached a cool glade and there collapsed against a nearby tree under the weight of his agonies. When she realized her mistake and remembered how Loathsome would miss her in her absence, Lovely left her family and went in search of the llama. Lovely found her llama crumpled beneath the tree and ran to him. It was a bright and sunny afternoon when Loathsome, out on a stroll, espied an old wanderer. Have you a sixpence, sir, for an old wandering woman? No, I have nothing for you. Be gone! Nothing? Are you sure? No, I have nothing. Out of my woods at once! Then you shall truly have nothing. In the disguise of a llama, so you shall cower you in your pride until love finds you despite your ugliness. After all this had been explained, Loathsome and Lovely returned to his palace to be married. Called so and so, a poor march <laughs> in a land called something or other, a poor merchant came <laughs> in a land called. <laughs> My dear children, Daddy! I have come to give you grave news. I'm going to be leaving you for a long time, perhaps years. Oh my! I must go seek our fortune, for we are destitute. Fortune? Really? Fortune? Really? My dear Starling, Daddy! I have yeah. grave news for you. Oh. I must leave you for perhaps a few years. No, oh dear. I must. I must. We are practically destitute. Indeed. And when I have gotten my 
<laughs> Very well, I shall see you in a few years, daughters. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye. Um. <laughs> You're walking like what's his name? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. Okay. No! But she's not filming yet. We need to move your stuff. Bloopers. What stuff? Bloopers. Stuff because I can see it on the film. <laughs> You should do this as quickly as possible because it is extremely <laughs> uncomfortable. Oh, we need to do some bloopers, like... I am filming right now. My head. <laughs> My beard really hurts. There's kind of a lump of glue in here, right? Alright, well, let's hurry up then. <laughs> and my eyebrows are kind of coming off. <laughs> getting hair in my mouth. I'm getting hair in my eyes. I want to make bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> like the other side of the room. Okay. So, I'm going to be zoomed in on her. And you, okay, need move that way. So, the idea is that you stand there for most of it so we don't really notice you. And then come in, but not necessarily, you know, those particular, wait. We need you still sitting there. Because we need it to be like you come up behind her. Sitting mm -hmm. there. Kneeling. Well, that's not how we started. Yeah, but. She's no, doing you're going to be right kneeling. When we started? You're start recording. It? No, when she comes in. Um, okay. Are you recording? Oh, I am. The ship upon which the merchant had invested failed, and upon his return home, the merchant got lost in the woods and stumbled upon a beautiful garden. Well. At least I can keep my promise to Lovely and bring her back a rose as she wished. <laughs> We're recording you. What? <laughs> Is that an accident? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think my eyebrow is falling off. The merchant returned home with a heavy heart and found his daughter Lovely in the garden with her cat. Uh, the merchant returned home with a heavy heart and found his daughter Lovely sitting in the garden by herself. The merchant returned home with a heavy heart and found his daughter Lovely sitting alone in the garden. I have returned Lovely, though nothing but this rose for you. And for the price of picking it, I must pay my pr most prized possession. Okay, cut, cut. You, lovely. What? The beast of the castle said I must give you to him for the price. <clears throat> and for the price of picking it, I must pay my most prized possession. You, lovely. The beast, <coughs> the llama of the castle. <laughs> the loathsome llama of the castle said I must give you in return for picking the rose. I will do everything in my power to keep you from him, bro. <laughs> bro. Here is my daughter. daughter. You're supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to say, so this is the daughter. Yes. I will miss the cottage. You'll be alright, daughter. I'll think of you every day. Kneel, daughter. So this is the daughter. Yes. Take good care of her. I love her with all my heart. You will find that your fortune awaits you at the gates. And you, miss, you will see that your stay here is not as terrible as you might expect. Hey, good night, girls. 
No snooping. I get to your head. <laughs> This is really weird. Oh, okay. I got it. Why is it so wobbly? Okay, I'm wrapping. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to work. We can't go off the stairs. <laughs> I know you're recording. <laughs> Perform there for a while so you can watch it later and enjoy <laughs> it. Do I turn it off with the red button too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. so grand. Your room is so <laughs> I smiled and laughed and I did it. It was kind of cute though. Thank you, Mrs. Weaver. Oh, I. Thank you, Mrs. Weaver. That was too bad. Mrs. Weaver. by the computer.
Loathsome soon proved to be equal to his name. <laughs> But over time, growth. Okay. Walk to your right. Uh, wait. Stand at the corner of the table. And then walk towards her. Then we'll like yeah. Her and Lauren, step backwards exactly where you are. And again. And again. And now, to your right. Here, I would die of loneliness. So, can you just take smaller steps? It's more graceful anyway if you're taking smaller steps. I fear I would die of loneliness. Promise that I would return to you. Let me go for three days. You would not keep your promise. If once you were with your family, they would convince you to stay from no. it. It's time to say that I can. Okay. Yeah. Very well, lovely. I feel I must let you go and do as you wish. If you do not, if you don't wish, <clears throat> or if you are not here in three days, I will die of loneliness. I promise I will return when that three days is up. But over time, Loathsome grew less loathsome, and Lovely became fond of her time here at the Llama's Palace. Loathsome, I was wondering. I miss my family so much. Do you think I could go home for a short visit? No, Lovely. I will not allow you to do this. Let it go! Let it go! Can't hold it up anymore! to return to the beast's palace, she neglected this duty and left him to linger away in his own... <laughs> you must stay long, daughter. Surely you must. <laughs> I forgot what I said. <laughs> Okay, are 
already. <laughs> you sound like a cat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Lauren could do it for you. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I got that. Left to himself, the beast's strength began to fail, and he wandered into the woods alone. I forgot my one. Left to himself, the beast. Uh, he wandered away into the. Uh, cut. What do you think about my position? You have to. Be I think it works. When I come, you have to be on the ground. Okay. Oh, yeah, after, yeah, and then you can, <laughs> oh, it's so sad. I don't think it looks like it's falling off. Does my head look like it's falling off? No, it's, it's still there. <laughs> Let's take a picture of you. I'm going to take a picture of you. Because now is a good time. Now you really have hair in your eye. Okay. <laughs> in his wanderings, loathes <laughs> In his wanderings, loathsome reached a cool glade, and there he collapsed against a nearby tree under the weight of his agonies. Cut. Oh, we should do that and then collapse. Oh yeah, you should do that when you collapse. <laughs> when she realized her mistake and remembered how the beast would mourn for Hab Bleh, cut. She realized her mistake, Lovely left her family in search of the beast. It was a bright and sunny afternoon when Loathsome wandered. It was a bright and sunny afternoon when it was a bright and sunny afternoon when Loathsome, out on a stroll for pleasure, loathsome? yes, Loathsome. Oh. His name is Loathsome. Okay. It was a bright and sunny afternoon when Loathsome and Loathsome. No, I have nothing to give. Out of my wood, be gone. Nothing at all, sir. You sure? No, once more. Out of my woods this instant. Then you shall have nothing. In the, di in the disguise of oh, a then you shall truly have nothing. In the form of a lama, you shall cower and cringe until love no! finds you despite you your do ugliness. This to me! It is your pride, sir. Out. After all this had been explained, Loathsome and Lovely returned to his castle to be married. Cut. <laughs>